Today I'm going to show you something a little bit about a bear bag system that I've been working on. And this is that bear bag system. The system consists of a length of zingit rope. I've got 75 feet here thrown on the ground. Each end of the zingit has a spliced eye in it, here and here, and one end of the zingit has this bow tie knot. The other component is this green and red spliced together length of am steel, and on each end is a stainless steel thimble that's been spliced in place. The green end also has this tiny little eye attached to it. With the system here, you can do either a one-to-one -one mechanical advantage or you can do a two-to-one mechanical advantage. And the real benefit is that the zingit does not actually ride on the bark of the branch. The zingit only goes through the thimble. So you reduce the friction, which means reduced effort to lift your bag. I'm going to be using my backpack as my test weight. And I've got a branch up here that I'm going to be throwing it over. I've brought along a scale. The backpack is coming in at 14.3 pounds. And what I want to show is the friction losses that you get by going over a branch. So I'm just going to be using Zingit 1.75 millimeter Dyneema to go over the branch. Just uh, up and over, nothing special. I brought along a throw weight just to make this quick in the field. Of course I'd use a bag with rocks or something. So now I've got my rope over the branch and I've got my backpack attached to one side of the rope. I'm going to put my scale on the end of the rope that I pull on to see how much force it takes to actually lift the pack into the air, remembering that the pack weighs 14.3 pounds. So I've got my scale attached to my rope and I'm going to pull on this to lift the 14.3 pound pack. There we go. That scale reads 25.3 pounds, which means there's a chunk of friction being lost on the branch. So what can you do to reduce the friction? Well, this is something that I've been working on. I've got what's called a friction saver in the tree climbing industry. And I've spliced it to color code the ends. And on each end, I've installed a stainless steel thimble. And this thimble keeps the loop from collapsing on itself, but it also provides a nice smooth surface for rope to slide over. So I'm going to put this in the tree over the branch and the, the branch is going to be what's, what these guys are dangling from. And then the zingit is going to go through both of those thimbles so that when I pull I'm riding on that smooth steel surface. I've also got a little loop on here which is important for retrieving it after I'm done. Now you might wonder, rightfully so, how I'm going to get this thing up and over the branch with the zingit through the loops on the bottom. And there's a really clever way of doing this. I'm going to take my zingit, before I throw it over the branch, I'm going to put it through this little loop here and then through the thimble on that side. I'm going to leave this end unattached for now. I want to pull enough rope through that end of the friction saver to get over the branch and attach my throw weight. Then I just get this up and over. All right. So the zinga is now over the branch, and my friction saver is on the side of the zinga 
that I did not throw over the branch. Now, I detach my throw weight. I take the end of the zinget and put it through the second thimble. Then I reattach the throw weight. Now, I'm going to pull back on the standing end of the line to lift the whole system into the tree. So right now the branch is captured in a loop of rope. And when I pull this up, the throw weight is going to get to the branch. I'm going to give it a tug. This throw weight will flip over the branch, bringing the friction saver up over with it. And then with the weight of this, I can just lower it back down again with this up and over the branch. So I'm pulling down on the one end of the zinget, and the whole system is being carried up the branch. Once I get to the branch, I just give it a quick little jerk, and the weight flipped over the branch, and the friction saver is now hanging it, and the zinget is going through both thimbles. And now what I've got is my zinget going through both thimbles, not over the branch, so there's no friction rubbing against that branch. It's just the friction on those smooth steel thimbles. I'm also saving the branch from all that force of friction, and it will actually cut into the bark. And I've got some pictures where I've climbed up into a tree that shows that the, the bear bag rope does actually cause some significant bark damage. Now, all that's left to do is detach my throw weight and attach the backpack. I'm going to put my scale back on the rope and then measure how much force it takes to lift the backpack. So now I'm just going to measure the lifting force with my scale going through the steel thimbles on that friction saver. Twenty point seven. So I've reduced the force to lift it by about four pounds. Which you know on a fourteen pound pack, four pounds that's thirty percent of the weight of the pack there. That I've saved. If you had a heavier pack, you'd be saving uh, a greater number of pounds. That's less force on your hands. There's zero f friction force on the branch now because the rope doesn't go over the branch. But wouldn't it be nice if you could get even lower than that? Sure would. But before I go there, I need to show you how you actually get the friction saver down from the branch now. You'll remember that I color-coded the ends of the friction saver. There's a red end and a green end. Red end is what this end is going through. Green end is what this end is going through. I don't want to pull on red, I want to pull on green. What's going to happen is this end, along with this bow tie knot, is gonna go up into the tree. This bow tie knot will pass through both thimbles. But then that little green spliced eye that I I put on the one, this knot will catch that spliced eye, and then when I pull, it's just gonna pull the whole thing back over again. So here I go. I'm letting that spliced eye and bow tie knot go up into the tree. At this point, if I if I messed up, I'm hosed. That's why I color coded the ends. Don't pull on red, do pull on green. Gonna come up. Bow tie knot as is at the thimbles. It's gonna go through the thimbles and then catch on that spliced eye and come down. And you can see this is the condition which it caught on. The bow tie knot went passed through both thimbles and then caught on that spliced eye, and then I was able to pull the whole thing up and over. Now what I'm going to show next is how you can use all 
the exact same equipment, but get a two-to-one mechanical advantage out of the thing, like you had a, a pulley up there. There's a little bit different setup to do this, though. I need to find the other end of my zenith. So, I found my other end, and I've got a splice die on this end as well. I'm going to attach this far end of the bear bag rope to that little eye there. And then, I'm gonna keep, keep this, and I'm gonna go find the other end of my zingit again. So here's the other end of my zingit. Just like last time, I went through the green end. Only difference now is I've attached the far end of my zingit to that eye and I'm just going to go straight through the thimble and then pull through enough rope to get up and over your branch. Attach my throw weight to the bag again and then go over the branch. Just like that. Once I've got it over the branch, again, I just go through the loop here and then I do the same thing. Attach the throw weight and pull. Pull on this end to get it to go over the branch. Now this time, this far end of the zinga is going to be pulled up with it. But since it's attached to the green end, not the red end, this isn't going to go over the branch. It's just going to stay on the side that it's on. There you go. All right, so now I got three ropes going up into the tree. There's the one in front of my face, which is just attached to that little eye on the friction saver. I've got the line that my throw weight is attached to, and I've got this other line. Now, these two ropes here actually form a loop down at my feet. This now becomes the end that I pull on. So I don't need to detach that throw weight. I'm just gonna leave it on for now. And as I pull on that, so there we go. I've pulled it all through. And this end here, this is what you attach your backpack to, or your bear bag. And you could go through a strap or something, but again, that's gonna add a lot of friction. If you have a little carabiner, um, tiny little guy is fine. Anything that is metallic for that to slide on is gonna produce a whole lot less friction than if it were sliding on fabric. So I actually forgot to bring a carabiner with me. So I stole the carabiner from my scale. And you attach your backpack or your bear bag or whatever you're using to there. And then as you pull on this side, for every foot of rope that I pull here, I'm only lifting the backpack half a foot. So that's where the two to one mechanical advantage comes from. And I can just lift it just like this. All right, just like before, I'm gonna pull on this and see how much force it takes to lift that bag. Thirteen point six pounds. The bag weighs fourteen point three. The over the branch method required twenty four pounds because of the added friction. The through the thimbles method required twenty pounds, and then the two to one mechanical advantage with the thimbles is down to thirteen point six pounds. So you're saving roughly ten pounds of force from compared to just going over the branch, which that is a big savings, your hands are gonna thank you. Now to get this version off of the branch, it's a little bit easier because we do have the one end of the zingit tied to it, so we can just pull on that end and move it down. This, all of this extra rope is going to have to come back through the thimbles. What you don't want to do is detach your weight from this and then pull on the wrong rope. Once that goes out of reach, if there's no weight on it to bring it back down, if it's out of reach, it's out of reach. If you just continue to pull on this end, it's just going to bind up around the branch. 
and then you're done. So I suggest you leave your bag attached so that you don't accidentally send it up. With the bag attached, if you send it up, the weight of the bag will bring it back down, no harm done. So just leave that attached and then pull. So now I've gotten back to this end, my throw weight is still attached. So I'm going to detach it and then continue to pull. And now I've got this end down and this is tied to that little eye up there so I can just pull it down and then I've got it retrieved. So that's it. That's my bear bag system. You can use it either as a one-to-one -one mechanical advantage or a two-to-one. In both cases you get significantly reduced force from just going over the branch itself. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gives you some ideas. If it's something that you want to make, it's really easy. I can put instructions in one of my posts. If you want to buy it, I will be selling these as well. Thanks.